what up what up it's your boy ad back with another video and today i'm about to take you guys along with me to the gym so as you guys can see i'm standing in front of my car about to hop in it we're about to head to the gym i got a new late day routine that i want to share with you guys uh so yeah it's gonna be a good one so anyway stick along for the journey but before we start this video you know what i'm gonna have to ask you to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn the post notification as well as share it with your people i'm trying to grow this 80 fitness family the only way we can do that is by more i see in the video but anyway i'll check back in with you guys when i get to the gym so let's get it all right you guys i'm at the gym warming up and stuff like that uh, I'm about to start on 315 uh, on camera I did like the bar stuff like that stretch hit the bar hit 225 now I'm about to do 315 for my last set of warm-ups right quick I do David over here did his last set already so we're about to do this I'm gonna do one more warm-up and then we're about to jump right into the leg day so let's get it all right y'all so I'm about to be switching up and do a little bit of narration um, these are just the warm up for 315. Um, I did this for one set. I usually do this for about 8 to 10 reps. I only did it for 6 today because I was feeling stiff and then my leg, uh, my left knee started hurting. Uh, it felt great in the morning and then once I started like warming up and stuff like that, it started flaring up. So, anyway, here's 6 sets for the first warm up. Alright, y'all, so we're going to jump right into the first set. Uh, see how this is going. I wrapped up my knees, tried to uh, preserve them and stuff like that. My knees are a little bothering me right now, but. Uh, let's see how it goes. We're going four sets of four, so let's get it. First set. Yep, so this is set number one right underway. I ain't going to lie to you. Looking back at it, this moved way better, way better than it felt. Like, it's crazy how like how heavy that felt today, especially with my left leg, my left knee kind of flaring up and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, um, that was the first set right there, so yeah. Oh, my God. 405 felt like fucking the sun. Anyway, that's the first set. Let's go right to the second set. So let's get it. All right, so now I uh, threw some 10s on the side. Um, so now I'm looking at 425. Um, this was overall a good set. It wasn't my best set, especially during depth. Uh, I like to get a, like at least a, like another inch down lower. Um, but um, the knee pain started to go away a little bit from the first set to the second set, so that's why I upped it. Uh, that's what's weird about my knees is some days they uh, they feel like they hurt before the workout, and then during the workout they go away, or they don't hurt at all before the workout, and during the workout they start hurting. So let's see the after action report. Oh my god, that beat my ass. But anyway, let's get it. Set number two done. Right on set number three, baby. Let's get it. All right, so that was a week after action report, but we're going to look at set number three. Set number three here, as you can see, I'm pushing a little bit more than set number one because uh, there was a little form breakdown right here. Um, you might not notice it, but I notice it is when I, I start to kind of like bow over when I stand up. Um, that's how I know um, I'm kind of pushing more with my back than with my legs right here. Um, I really don't notice it too much. Uh, too much during the session is when I start looking it back in the replay. So that's how I can tell here. All right, last set. Just could uh, make a break today. Um, gotta, gotta pull it out. This is definitely gonna be uh, one of them sets where you're gonna see what you made of. So let's go. I ain't no punk. I ain't gonna act like no punk. We ain't dropping it. So let's get it. All right, here I have to really pump myself up because this I added 10 pounds to the bar and I wasn't already feeling the greatest under 425. So we're doing 435 here for the last set. And I really had to pump myself up. So I want you guys to listen to the determination and stuff like that, where I had to really dig deep, really dig deep here. So, yeah. That one hurt, but I couldn't drop it. So let's get it, that was last set. Uh, squats are done. We're about to get into a little bit of Bulgarian split squats and some RDLs. But anyway, let's go. Okay, now we're about to jump into some accessories after the squat session right here. So we're going to do some Bulgarian split squats to start it off. So I put uh, the sets and reps off to the side so you guys can see. I really like the Bulgarian split squat after the squat because it is a more 
a hamstring and glute dominant exercise now granted the regular right. squat does target the hamstrings and the glutes and um stuff like that but it's more a quad and glute dominant exercise uh versus the hamstring uh, so it's not really i wanted to really focus on targeting the hamstring after we already fired up the glutes and the quads next up we have uh hip thrust uh, i like to do the hip thrust right there so you start uh like targeting the glutes you get to target the hamstrings as well as the quads at the top but it's more like again a hip and uh glute dominant especially if you bridge at the top and kind of hold right here's not a good example of holding at the top but yeah it is what it is now we're going to jump into some rdos we're going to target the uh, hamstrings again so we're just targeting the hamstrings so we really didn't get to fire them up uh, as much as we wanted to on the, um, the squats. But yeah, so we're going to get the um, hamstrings and we're going to get the glutes, especially if you're doing it, uh, keeping a locked back and stuff like that. So you guys can see in the back that I'm not bowing my back at the bottom. I'm keeping a straight back. Um, with that being said, now we've just spent some time on firing up the hamstrings and the glutes. Now we're going to fire up the quads. So we do single leg leg press over double leg because now there's a sign of fatigue so you see how far back in the workout that we um we are doing stuff so uh, there's fatigue that sets in so now i want to really focus on um isolating each leg so each leg is the same exact amount of work i don't favor my right leg over my left or my left over my right they both have to do the same amount of work so i like to do a lot of individual leg work if it's possible so now we're gonna get right into the hamstrings. Um, the best hamstring exercise I see is the hamstring curl machine. And as again, we're doing a uh, single leg. So uh, one does not overtake the other when fatigue sets in. So we're getting towards the end of the workout here. Um, so you guys just see what's going on um, with that. So yeah, we're just firing up the hamstrings and stuff. All right, uh, our last exercise for the day, uh, we're actually gonna be doing um, just a uh, quad extension machine. I love to fire uh, these at the end to fire up your legs. One last quad exercise for the day, really just targeting that single leg, focusing on that contraction. If I didn't have these um, spandex on, you would definitely get to see like all the contraction in my legs and stuff. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is how I like to finish out my workout, just really firing up the quads at the end of the day, so yeah. Now we're about to jump into core. Uh, core, I do this every day after a workout. Um, every day, I don't have like a designated core day. I do core every day after a workout. Um, so we are um, doing leg lifts. So uh, alternating leg, well not alternating leg lifts. We do 15 legs, uh, 15 reps each leg, and then switch. Right here, um, this is not a great example of how I like to do it. You really don't know until you start analyzing like when you're fatigued and stuff like that at the end of the workout you really don't know your form until you start actually recording and looking back at it so uh, as you guys can see my right leg is staying up a little bit more than my uh, left leg was when i was doing the um, leg lifts and i typically like to keep both legs at least locked at that angle uh, if not 90 degrees which is optimal what i really like but it is what it is um, now we're doing um, just toe, toe reaches and stuff like that and I'm really focusing on hitting my toes every time with this. It's not just trying to get through it and uh, race through it, although um, I could keep my legs a little bit straighter, but um, you don't really know your form until you really start looking at it through a different lens. So recording it actually makes me see, like shows me that I still, even though I can get through this workout, I got work to do. Um, so now we're just getting into um, some, some crunches right here. So 30 crunches overall. Just really focusing on uh, tightening up that core, it's not trying to lift with your shoulders, but really lift yourself up with the, the core, tighten your core and everything like that. So that's 30. And here, this is another thing I was like, I really should have got more extension on these. Um, I call them in and outs. I don't really know the deal with uh, what the actual name are. So I just call them in and outs. But these are uh, very good. Um, they target the lower, the lower abdomen. Um, like some other exercises target the upper this targets the lower and really have yourself fire so you want to really look kind of even um, David off over to the side he has more range of motion than I have in mind so yeah um overall that in and out is what I like to do for 30 now we're gonna do a half crunch half crunch might not seem like much but that's when you start targeting the uh, upper part of your abs and stuff like that and um, really having them fire up fire up and stuff like that 
um, they are a good exercise um, to do. Even to sing, like if you want to do them by yourself, like maybe do um, four sets of 25 or something like that and really burn out your abs that way. Uh, the key here again is to lift with your abs. You want to lock your core in tight with um, these workouts. It's not just something that you lift yourself up with your shoulders with. So now we're doing 30, uh, 30 reps each side right here. These are called, you call them turtles, you call them heel touches. Uh, I heard multiple names for them, penguins. But this is now you're kind of firing up your left oblique and your right oblique at the same time. Uh, so I mean, like as you twist and turn that way, you get to fire them up. So now you're kind of firing up the mid uh, middle part of your abs right there with uh, with that, especially if you're making your core tight the entire time. Um, so now we're gonna get into a little bit of weights. So me and David has progressed to the 35s, um, 35 pound plate. So we're just doing that uh, Russian twist, the old. Um, the goody but old, I guess you could say that. Everybody knows the Russian twist. I'm just targeting those obliques and stuff like that. I am burnt out. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Like my hip feet even hit feet lower than they usually are, but 30 reps each side will definitely test you. And make, it's like a mental game with these because definitely you want to stop by 15, you're done. When you have to do 30 each side, so you're technically doing 60 total reps. You're like, bro, I just want to put this plate down and be done. Next up, we're going to finish up with the assisted double crunch. Um, if you are a person that uh, your abs are good and stuff like that, your core is good, you can definitely advance this and do the double crunch with no mm -hmm. hands, but mm -hmm. we still do the assisted double crunch here. Um, I would still, like I like to say, is uh, get a little bit more extension on the outer part. I'm kind of doing a double crunch, but the legs are not going all the way. But at the end, you see my face right there. I am burnt. And yeah, we are done with the workout for the day. And just like that, we're done for the day. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, but before we leave, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification well, share it with your people. I'm trying to grow the 80 Fitness family a little bit. We can do that by more I see in the video. We're going to talk to you soon. Peace.